live in a while. So I figure I would come here, go live real quick because I have a whole bunch of things that I got from Sephora, VIB sale, all of that, and um, ignore my little work post-its, the things I need to do. But um, yes, yes, yes. So let's get into it. Um, I've been doing well. Uh, I've just been super busy lately with um, work and my sorority and um, friends, family, obligations, cleaning, adulting, you know, all the things. How it just gets hectic a little bit. And it's always like this wave right before the holidays where it's like the holidays are always hectic, but it's like a pre-holiday hectic, if that makes sense. So it's like so much gearing up and doing all the things and then it gets really crazy. So I'm just like with the lives. I'm not going to be able to commit to me going on at a certain time and doing it at a certain time. So I'm going to just come on. If you're here, welcome. If not, it'll be a video later and you could catch it, right? So on to the things. First, we're going to start with, this is going to be a little bit of a show and tell. So I got so much stuff. Let me um start moving things around here because I got my computer. I got my, um what do you call this? So show and tell things that I've purchased recently. So the first thing I'm going to start off, I guess I should probably go from most expensive to cheapest. So I got the Mac, the Apple iPod Air. So um, it's actually really cute. So this is the little pencil that goes with it. Um, I had a regular iPod, iPad, but the um, iPad Air just seemed so cool. It had all these new capabilities. And I got, so this is like a little smart folio cover. Um, and something that I never do is that I got the colored one. So this is the blue one. So oh, it's upside down if I do it that way. There we go. Bloop, you see it? It's like really blue. That's crazy. So I usually only get space gray Apple items. So um, I've been loving it so far. I have a paper light uh, cover on it. So I've been writing a lot with it. And um, yeah, writing things coming soon. So um, I really, really like that. It's super cute. Uh, so yeah. So that is the iPad. So if you're thinking about getting yourself a Christmas gift, um, I would definitely recommend the iPad if you're about this tablet life. Um, I love to be on the computer in my bed. So um, with the laptops, it makes it seem like work. But with the iPad, it seems like fun. So um, even though it may not be, you know. So next thing you know, we're going to get into the things that I got from Sephora. So I already opened this because I've been using it and testing it. So I'll just share it. It is the Huda Beauty. Um... They make the names on these things so small. I be feeling like an old person. Like, what does that say? Um, it's faux filter, skin finish, buildable coverage, foundation stick. I have the shade Cinnamon 440G. This is so much better than the faux filter liquid. The faux filter liquid just smells like straight perfume on your face. This is actually really fragrance-free. Like, it doesn't even have the medicinal no fragrance fragrance. Like, it literally smells like nothing. It's a perfect match for my skin. Um, it wears great and I think it's super cool and I like it. However, it is going to have to go into a beauty battle with the next thing I bought, which I've been using these for years and it is the goat of all stick foundations. It is Bobbi Brown skin foundation stick. Now this is the Michael Jordan. And then this is like the LeBron James. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like for the next generation of stick foundations, this is going to be a big deal. This Huda Beauty for the younger girls. But for those of us who have uh, been wearing stick cream foundations for a while, Bobby Brown is the standard. And there's a few things that Huda might have not got right. I'm still doing a little more testing. We're going to see, but I just feel like there's something she could have done better. So for my all over face shade, I have the shade 3.75, which is Golden Almond. Unfortunately, she uh, Bobby Brown changed her shade names and stuff. So like the original one that I have, I have to get a whole new shade and all this stuff. So that was annoying. But then I also, what I got was the Cool Walnut 825. So I'm going to use this one to contour because, you know, I love to contour with the um, Matchstick Espresso from Fenty Beauty, but it's really dry. And when I put it on the dry parts of my face, it's like annoying. So I'm hoping to use this. Well, I hope it's dark enough as a contour. I think it will be. I don't need these egregiously dark contours. And you got to blend it out extra, right? So I'm just helping myself out. Get to go a little lighter. Okay. Those are the Bobby Brown Stick Foundations. Beauty Battle coming soon with the Huda Beauty Stick Foundation. All right. Next thing I got from Sephora was... 
old Ericsson Let's Get Luminous Brightening Essentials. So this is like a special kit that they're having because, you know, it's the holidays now. Everybody needs gifts to get people. This is amazing. Get it for yourself. Um, even though it's smaller sizes for the eye cream, like the eye cream, I know works, right? The eye cream's amazing. But I want to try the serum and I wanted to try the gel cream moisturizer. I need a new day cream. Um, don't tell me I'm not going to be able to get this thing open because I don't got no scissors. Um, I'm destroying this box, y'all. It's going to be fine, though. But, uh, yeah, so I want a new day cream that's not the glow recipe. The glow recipe is making me look... I'm fighting with this box for real, y'all. Okay. I just ripped it apart. Um, the glow recipe makes me look too shiny on the Zoom call. So, um, ooh, y'all got a mouthful of... Um, the ripping apart sorry but yeah the glow recipe uh moisturizer makes me look too greasy on the zoom call so i need a new daytime moisturizer so that's why i'm so excited about this little kit i'm hoping that this c brush brightening gel cream is going to be really cute and then i could use that so that's another thing i got next thing uh this is the old reliable chanel number five i always get a box of these every either during mother's day when they have the fragrance three times the points or when it's a vib 20 percent off um yeah i probably know what this looks like already so i'm not gonna even open it but love love chanel number five that's like a fragrance you just gotta have on deck just in case you know Ooh, this is the ysl lip kit this looks so cute um i saw this and i was like oh i want to get it so it has these four lip shades and if you look on the back let me see how close i can get that there you go it shows you the four shades. So it's like a real bright red, a muted red, like a mauve, and then like a purpley color. So I'm just, I'm not going to actually put them on and swatch or swatch them, but I am going to open each one up so you guys can see. Oh, they're mini, mini. So this was like 50 bucks. So I'm not totally upset because I know YSL is like a more expensive brand, but I was not expecting these lipsticks to be this small, like... Dag YSL. And I was going to think about doing a video to recommend people to get this. But now that I see how small these are, I cannot recommend this kit to anyone. Like the lipsticks are probably cute and amazing and it's going to be a great shade. But the fact that they're just this tiny and it's for them for $50, like the shades are beautiful. But you got to get more than this, like three swipes and this thing is going to be done. But these shades are so pretty. So at least now I could try them out for myself. And if I really like them, I can buy the big one, the larger shade for my own lipstick collection. Okay. So that is the YSL. Let me do some little shuffling around here so I can get to the next things, the big boxes. Those look so cool, right? I'm so excited. I got all the things for the VIB sale because to me, even though the holidays is really when you should buy yourself and other people gifts, I want that 20% off. So I am going to, um, you know, go get it in advance. So I got, this is um, the Versace perfume sample kit. So it has um, Dylon Blue. Uh, diamond, yellow diamond, bright crystal, and this one, Eros. Eros had a rough time in the shipping. Okay, she fell out of place. But um, I love perfume, especially I love um expensive perfumes. Clearly, as you can see by my Chanel, um, I am curious. I tried the bright. Which one is it? Bright crystal. I've had before. I got that as a sample. And, um, oh, this wrapping is no joke, huh? So I got the Bright Crystal as a sample. So after I smelled how good that smelled, I was like, oh, I want to get more Versace perfume. But I wasn't sure which one exactly. So the fact that I can um, get the sample kit, I was like, that's cool. Let me get the sample kit, see what I like, and then I'll see which one, right? So what I was curious to know is are these... Tag, they're empty boxes. I was hoping that this was like a full box and then you got this. So, but this is actually perfect because I guess what you're supposed to do is open it up and then put the perfume inside the box. So, that's the little box. So, I'm going to sniff real quick just to see what they smell like. This is Eris Perfume. 
Oh, that one's pretty. This reminds me of Light Blue from Dolce & Gabbana, which a lot of people think is too strong and is horrible, but I like the smell of it. So that's cute. Um, let's see. The next one we'll go to is Yellow Diamond. And I like Yellow Diamond because it has like the traditional kind of gold Versace feel that they're so known for. Let's see what this smells like. Mm, this is like a spicy version of Clitty Cappy, if you're familiar with that fragrance. So, and it's funny because from Clinique, I love the aroma elixir, but that thing is strong. Like you can only put a half a squirt or else you will be knocking out people in the streets, even with a mask on. That perfume is strong, Lord. Okay, next one we have is the Bright Crystal, which like I said, I have the sample and I know I like it. So, and I would definitely say if there's any products that you're excited about or interested in, go to, um, this is the box for that one, go to Sephora, check the holiday sets, because this is really going to be the most economical way for you to try something, see something new, and to kind of get it at a better deal than buying the full price thing and, um, buying the full price thing and then taking it back. So the last one in the set is Versace Pour Femme. So for her, Dylan Blue. Oh, this is actually blue. The box is black. So I was like, what's blue? Is it black? It looks blue on camera, so it must be blue. I just can't see it in real life. But smell it. Oh, that's a really like subdued kind of fragrance. I like that. Dylan Blue. Oh, and it has like a little Versace album. Versace is my favorite sunglasses too. I like Versace in terms of an aesthetic. So I like that you can box all of those up a little bit. If you're really cheap, you can uh, give it to like one person as a stocking stuffer. But if you like mix two and make a little basket and put it with some other products, that would be a cute thing to give people. Um, but Or just buy the whole set for one person like I bought for myself. But um, now that I have them in the little boxes, I'm throwing her in the trash. That's why we heard that. I buy this every year. This is the Sephora Lash Stash Kit. I think that this is the best Christmas holiday kit that Sephora makes. Everybody wears mascara. As long as you don't open them, you can keep it for a couple months, go through each mascara at a time. Now, this year, they even included one full-size one, which is super cool. They included lashes, which is super cool. And they even included like serum to grow your lashes, which I feel like a lot of people have heard and talked about it, but are scared to buy it like me. Mm -hmm. So um, this is a really, really good gift. It's only $48. So if you're doing like a secret Santa virtually, not in person, um, if you're doing a secret Santa virtually or something like that, this will be a really cute gift, even for a person that doesn't wear makeup, because like everyone should be wearing mascara. Unless it's somebody that you know has like an eye issue or something like that. Like most people want to put on the little mascara. So it has this little gold tab that allegedly you could just pull and it opens. Oh, it's taped on the sides. Uh, I'm going to use a pen and try to get this up. I guess the girls are really out here stealing the mascaras, huh? Okay. So once you get the tape, it has a little gold tab. I'm pulling that. Okay, I took off the tape now. What's the issue? Oh, there we go. Oh, so this is what it looks like inside. That's cute. Hold on. I'm not strong enough to do a reveal style. So I'm going to have to wait till I fight it out of here. And then y'all can see it. So it's packed pretty tight, which is good. Because, you know, she got to ship in the streets. Oh, so, so cool. So this is the full set. Um, I'm going to look at this for reference and then point to things. I already know that Pat McGrath is the best, so this is going to be my one of my faves in the kit. Um, This Lash Freak, I heard bad things about it, but now I'll be able to give my own two cents. This is Bad Gal um, Lash by Benefit. This is amazing. Um, These velour lashes look so beautiful. I mean, can you see that? They look so pretty. I never buy expensive lashes because I'm not good at putting them on. I only get like Ardell dollar store cheapy cheaps. But um, we'll see. I'm going to try these out. Um, the Ilya lash, if you watch my channel, you already know that's one of my girls. 
Um, I'm Stacey Beverly Hills. Never tried a mascara from her, so that should be interesting. Better than Sex by Too Faced. That's a great mascara too. Um, Grande Lash MD Lash Serum. I'm interested about the lash serums. Um, I never I, when I Latisse and all these things came out, I thought they were super cool, but I never tried them because I was like, once the description said may stain your eyes, I was like, oh, I'm not staining my eyes just for lashes. Like that's crazy. But um, we'll see. This is like a lower grade version, so we're gonna try that. Um, Lancome Sills Boost XL. This is the best primer for lashes, hands down. No other company could see them. And then this Blink um, Mascara Amplify. Stop painting your lashes. Tube them. Oh, so this was probably like the little tubular ones. I usually don't like those because those mascaras usually do not work well for contact wearers. But I'm going to give them a try because it's in the kit and, you know, I paid for it. So that is it. Like I said, if you're only going to buy one Sephora kit, you're just like, I can't spend all this makeup. I'm telling you, get the mascara one. You wear mascara every day, and that's going to be the one thing that when people see you on the Zoom, your lashes ain't going to pop. It's going to be, that's that's it. Like, that's how you look cute. Last thing, totally not makeup related. Um, Yeah, hopefully you guys don't see my address. This is a Gobi. It is a toothbrush. So um, I had a Quip toothbrush, but it stopped working. And Quips have a lifetime guarantee, so I can, I am going to send it back to Quip so I can get one that actually works. And, but in the meantime, in between time, I was Googling like best electronic toothbrush and Quip was on nobody's list. And I was like, oh, it's because it's the cheapest one pretty much. So that makes sense. Oh, get your buzz on. That's so cute. So I was like, let me get a real toothbrush. I'm going to do the Googling, do the research and see which toothbrush is the best. So everybody's saying, go all the like New York Times, New York Mag, everybody's article was basically saying that, um, Gobi is one of the best toothbrushes. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get the Gobi. They got a black one. Let me try it out. So this is um, get your Gobi. So uh, it could charge before first use, uh, charge for 10 hours, blah, blah, blah. 30 seconds per quadrant. That's the same thing, quick pass. And then clean after brushing, rinse the brush head and the handle separately, wipe dry once a week, remove and rinse the hygienic drip tray. So that's the instructions. So we can get to the actual toothbrush. So I really like this toothbrush because it looks so sleek. Like, that looks real cute, right? And really, it looks like the dentist one. So, you know, like, she's going to be with it because it looks like what the dentist used, duh. So that's that. And that's the top thing in the box. So it came. I got to show you guys what I saw. So it was like that in the box before I pulled it up. And then it says um, other things in this box. So I'm pretty sure it's a tooth additional toothbrush head. I hope I get at least one. Let's go through these boxes. Oh, So one is the little wireless charger, the little charger that snaps into place and then it has like a little plug to go with it. So, but not the power, oh, the power adapters right here. Uh, remember the good old days when the cord was attached and then you couldn't lose these things? Lord. This box has the case to protect it but i use a steripod that way it has like the baking soda and it keeps it fresh and kills any bacteria so i don't really plan on using this but it's cute though and it's black so in terms of an aesthetic it's, it would look prettier to use this but i don't like oh wait steripod has spoiled me like the way your toothbrush tastes so fresh after you take the steripod off and get ready to brush your teeth again I don't know if I could switch back to any cat. And they're recycled, and you can recycle them, so it just seems better for the environment. Oh, this last box is putting up a fight. Oh, because it's a stand. So this is what you put on your bathroom counter, so that way it can uh, charge and stand up and look cute. So black one. So um, I'll use that toothbrush, uh, see how it looks. I guess I should do a quick review. I had quick for like two years. I don't have no real qualms with them not really but um and then it comes with this guide that says other stuff you need to know so i got the subscription so that way every two months i'll get a new brush head i know you're supposed to change them every three months but that third month it just seemed like the toothbrush is giving up hope and i don't want to deal with that no more so i'm like you know what i'm gonna just get it every two months and that's that so those are the things that i got from show and tell so real quick before we go i'm gonna hop on the gram and I'm going to look at 
all these new makeup thingies that got announced today. So if those of you aren't really into uh, looking at makeup accounts on the gram, you're like, where should I go? I want to know the new makeup tea. Um, so there's two accounts that I follow. One is Makeup Crazy. So that's Cray, C-R-A-Y, and then the Z at the end. They have the scoops. Like, they have the scoops. Like, if I want to know about makeup, I literally just search them and I read because they be knowing. So the first thing they are showing is... Um, a YouTuber who I don't know came out with a makeup brand. They're saying Samantha. They're not saying her last name, though, so I don't know who she is. So good. congratulations to you. Um, Morphe has a Lisa Frank collection. I don't know if y'all can see that. Morphe, Morphe Lisa Frank collection. Um, as far as I'm concerned, Morphe is not dead to me but i'm not really keen on supporting them um basically they had somebody who was super offensive and i feel like the best way to bounce back from that is the people that were offended by your old influencers old influencers offensiveness you should get influencers of that group to make up for that so um yeah so i probably won't be buying that from morphe um, Ulta has Hourglass now. That's cool. Um, this is who? A uh, brand I never heard of. Okay. Um, this is what I really wanted to get into. Ulta at Target. This is going to be so cute. So even though I do live in New York and down to the, in the area where I'm at now, the city, downstate, wherever you're at, how you refer to it. Uh, we do have Ulta's, but um, there was a time when, when I went to college, I was upstate New York, and there was an Ulta, and for makeup, it was either the Mac counter or Target, so all those in-between brands like NYX and things that you can get on a budget, but it's not necessarily the worst drugstore makeup, I didn't have access to that unless I went like back home. So the fact that they're going to have this in Target, there are so many beauty lovers that live in places where there's no Sephora, where there's no Ulta, and now Target's going to have that next level of makeup. It's just amazing, and that's why I love Target. Ugh, I'm definitely one of those going Target and spend all the money girls. Um, ooh, I'm about to go buy this right now. So these are the new Diamond Bombs from Fenty Beauty. So one shade is Rosé something. And the other, Rosé Rave, and the other one is Royal Icing. So, unfortunately, Royal Icing is not being sold by Sephora. So, I'm going to have to go and buy those straight from FentyBeauty.com. Um, anybody else that's new and looks interesting? Wayne Goss, the makeup artist. It's funny. Wayne Goss was one of the first makeup artists. artists one of the first makeup artists that I watched on YouTube. And I used to think he was so intriguing and so insightful. And I learned so much from him, but his brand is not giving anything. It's not giving what y'all said it's supposed to give, okay? It's not. And it's so disappointing because he's like a huge name in makeup. Um, I don't really care about that brand. Uh, there's a lot of brands on here, really cool. Um, anybody else that looks exciting? Really disappointed by the holiday releases this year. I'm not really impressed by what anybody came out with. Um, and you know what? It totally makes sense. If I was a makeup company and it's like people, though, I mean, you wear makeup for yourself. But a lot of people wear makeup to be seen. And if you got to stay in the house and you can't be seen, you're not going to go buy the extravagant over the top Christmas holiday collection. Right. So. um Oh, there's a new Revlon color stay. And it looks like a dupe for MAC Face and Body, which is one of my favorite foundations. Unfortunately, if I had so many uh, like horrible skin reactions to drugstore foundations that I really just am scared to try them. Because um, if I mess like once, usually what happens is I try it, my skin breaks out really bad. I, I have um, dermatitis, so it like scabs over, it gets crusty, it's painful, it's dry. And I just don't like when my face looks like that. So I just stare clear of the drugstore stuff. But... I would I want to try that a little bit. It might be worth the risk. Um P. Lewis is canceled. I don't even know who that is, but 
It's like a little mail collection that looks kind of cute. I think I like that. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Patrick Star, I feel like I this is what I've covered and discussed before. Patrick Star has come out with a setting powder. There's only two shades, so we're not impressed. Um, so let's go over to Hot Fire Makeup and see what they have going on. Um, ColourPop spits out the collections like rapid fire, and I'm like, you can't even get excited about a collection. One, the influencers aren't getting them like they used to, so I really, if I don't see it on somebody brown, I'm nervous to buy it. And, um, yeah, so this was interesting. Dose of Color Skincare Collection. This looks like a dupe for Rihanna's, right? I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see this picture. It's real whitewash, but there we go. Looking real similar to Fenty, right? That's what I said when I seen that. Um, Fenty Highlighters, we already talked about that. Ulta and Target, we talked about that. Um, oh, this seems like a new Superstay Matte Ink Lip Pencil and Lip Crown and Liquid Lipsticks. Those look really cute from the drugstore girls. I love that. Ugh. That's the only thing that since you only go out to essential businesses, like I'm there and I'm like, okay, I'm here for groceries. But then, of course, with Target, it's like, ooh, clothes, ooh, shoes, ooh, makeup. And then now I have a cart that's like half groceries, milk, eggs, and then half lipsticks and like faux fur coats. Don't judge me, y'all. This is really cute. This is the Advent Holiday Box from How to Beauty. So I love the aesthetic of it. It's definitely not enough items for Advent. I don't know if people realize that Advent is 25 days. But when you get 12 items, like, girl, I guess the 12 days of Christmas. I don't know. Yeah, but it's really cute, the little lip container. What's not cute is the price. They want $175 for 12 items and a box shaped like lips. Not for me. I mean, I said I was going to get some of the ads. Don't buy them because you look at each little thing and it's like, I'm not going to use that, not going to use that, not going to use that. And then it's like, mm. and I have sensitive skin. So it's no. So those are, that's about a wrap on all the interesting things I see on, uh, this is Hot Fire. Uh, who is this? Winky Lux, Cheeky Blushes. They look cute. The thing that sucks with these is when you dip your finger and you ruin the rose, then it's not aesthetically pleasing anymore. Um, so that's that one. That, I think. Um, James Charles saying he's wearing his makeup for his Vogue shoot. So another person coming out with the beauty collection. This is who? Oh, a brand I'm not going to talk about on my channel. <laughs> um... Yeah, if you're new here, anybody who is rude, racist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic, a culture vulture, you are not going to get airtime on here, okay? Not on my channel. But um, thank you so much for coming to the channel and watching. Um, if you have not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. Once you hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any amazing videos that I make including videos about skincare, hair care, beauty, weeds, wigs, all of the above. Um, yeah, we just have a good time here on the channel. Um, more videos coming soon every week. Try to post three times a week. And that's that on that. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, if you're able to come here live, you're great and awesome. If you're watching this later, Make sure you hit that notification bell. That way next time you won't miss out on the lives. And I will see you guys next time. Have a happy, healthy day. Stay safe and wear your mask, all right? So that's it. You guys have a great evening or morning or afternoon. <laughs>